still have to log on. Yeah, we have to take GPS first. I'm Tommy Etmer, and I'm a PhD student in uh, series. And my work is focused on fish introductions in high alpine lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park. Historically, there was no fish in any of the lakes in Rocky Mountain National Park. And currently, there are thought to be fish in 48 of 156 lakes due to stocking since the park opened. And so, you know, there, there has been a lot of fish introduction. There's a, a lot of reasons that it, that it could be potentially important to understand how these fish are affecting lakes. Some studies have shown that, that fish introductions or lack of fish can affect uh, water chemistry and production of lakes, which can affect downstream systems and water treatment. Biodiversity can be impacted heavily. Have fish introductions affected potentially important species in these lakes that are, are rare or endangered elsewhere. You know, it's also important in terms of understanding how community structures align and whether or not fish have compressed food webs in these lakes. You know the real reason I come up here with him? I don't want to do research on these lakes. I don't like hiking. Uh, but it's, you know, it's right here. <laughs> a couple of days like this and, you know, you lose. You know, if you account for water weight as well. I've come back a couple of times, it's been 10, 12 pounds later. <laughs> the hardest thing about doing this project uh, definitely has to be the, the packing of all the very heavy gear for long distances. On multiple occasions, I've, I've carried more than 90 pounds of gear for more than 15 miles. The farthest one is probably um, Lion Lake 2 uh, currently. Lion Lake 2 is actually a, a bit of a surprise. Um, it's a smaller lake and we didn't expect it to be very deep, but it's about 45 feet deep and has a very abundant zooplankton life. And that was very surprising as, as we hadn't expected to, to see a very deep lake up there and then to see such abundant life um, was, was really cool and exciting. I don't catch the wind right, it like deflates as opposed to... My favorite thing about doing this project is probably the fishing aspect. This project has given me the opportunity to fish some lakes that are not fished very frequently. Um, one of the lakes in particular, we caught maybe 15 fish in, in a half an hour um, or less, and that was, that was a lot of fun. I fished on lakes with that much wind before a couple times, um, but when I've done that, all I've done is uh, hold the trigger cast and hold the fire. 